Welcome guys, to part 5 of this tutorial series. In this video, we will make an animated main menu for the 2D sliding puzzle game. In the last video, we added the settings menu which you can see here. Let's make the main menu. Make a new scene. Add a control as the root, and rename it menu screen. Add a panel to it, and set the layout to full rect. In the custom style, select new style box flat and set the color to 333B4F. Now click on the menu screen and add a label, set the layout to top wide. Set the text to slide puzzle. And align it in the center. Drag and drop the Roboto 36 size font to the custom fonts. Click on the green anchor and drag it a little lower, also drag and move the bottom edge of the text a little lower. Add a button and set the text to play. Set the layout to center. Click on the menu screen and drag and drop the custom theme file to the theme option. Resize the play button to make it a little bigger. Add a texture button. Drag and drop the Discord icon to the pressed texture and the Discord hover icon to the pressed, focused, and hover textures. Link for all the assets are in the description. Check the expand option and set the stretch mode to keep aspect centered. Resize the button to a small size. Set the layout to bottom left. Click and drag it away from the corner of the panel. Rename it to Discord button. Copy and paste the button and rename it to Website button. Drag and drop the website icon to the normal texture. And website hover to the hover, pressed, and focus texture. Add another label. Set the text to v.1.0 and set the layout to bottom right. Add an animation player to the menu screen we will use this to animation the menu when the game is opened. Save the scene in the scenes folder, in menu subfolder. Attach a script to the menu screen. This is the script. In the ready function we play the menu in animation which will slide all our menu elements in place. In the next function, we use os.shell open to open the invite link of my discord server. 
If you have not joined already do join, link in description. The next function we open my website link. When the play button is pressed, we use get tree dot change scene to open our game scene. Now let's make the starting animation. Click on the animation player and click on animation, then new. Set the name as menu in. Click on the title text and in the rec group, click on the key icon near the position values then click create. Move the playhead a little further and select the first keyframe then right click and click on duplicate key. Now move the playhead in between the two keyframes and again duplicate the keyframe. Select the second one and set the X value to 350. Also, set the X value of the first to 350. We have a nice slide in animation. Let's add the same for the rest of the elements. Select the play button and resize it a bit larger. Let's work on its animation. In rec group again click the key near position and click create. Duplicate the frame twice like for the title text. And set the X value to 350 for both. Do the same for the version text and the two texture buttons. For the texture buttons, in the keyframe, set the Y value to 440.
set the end time of the animation to 0.8 seconds. Let's set our starting scene as our menu scene. Click on project, then project settings, in the search type main, and click on run under application. Here set the main scene to the menu screen scene. Let's connect the signals. Click on the discord button and connect the pressed signal to the menu screen. Do the same for the website and play button. Now let's run the game. Everything works. So that's it for part 5. Thanks for watching. If you like this video make sure to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel for the next part. Be sure to click the notification bell too so you get notified when it releases.